ClearTechInfo.com offers free help and advice for all of your computer, internet, and technology questions. Just register for a free membership, and after you receive your welcome email, you may log in and post your question on our help forums. Remember, the only stupid question is a question you don't ask. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make Call of Duty Black Ops run a little bit faster. First things first, open up Call of Duty and go to the graphic settings. As you see pictured here, these are the bare minimum settings and Call of Duty will run the smoothest at these bare minimum settings. What you need to do is first run at these settings and then if everything runs smoothly, nothing's sort of chopper or anything just raise the settings like the graphic resolution which is labeled here as video mode bring it up one or two notches then bring everything else up one or two notches and see how it runs if it runs smoothly then then keep on bringing everything up until it lags a bit or it's a little bit choppy then just go down a setting that will be your setting something a little bit more advanced is open up your Windows Explorer or my computer and find the C drive. Then if you have a 64-bit OS go here. If you have a 32-bit version of Windows you will only see this folder just go in there. I have a 64-bit version so I will go here. Go down to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Call of Duty Black Ops, Players, and go to the config file. Open up WordPad really quick. Go to the Start button, All Programs, Accessories, and WordPad should be somewhere right here. So grab the config file, throw it up here. And you'll be looking for two settings. Click find, type in R underscore D O F, hit enter. You want to set this to zero. This one slightly improves frame rate. It has to do with the, all the background graphics that are really far away. It sort of it doesn't make them as sharp as you normally are. So it improves frame rate a little bit. Then another setting, click on find again. And then type in R underscore multi-thread. Hit enter. For this one, make sure you erase the zero and enter one. What this setting will do is enable the full use of multi-core CPUs like a core to dual, Intel dual core, AMD X2, all Phenom CPUs, anything that has more than one core, two cores, three cores, four, six, eight, ten, whatever, it'll enable them and it will make it run a little bit faster. After you're done with those settings, click Save. Oh, by the way, about the multi-core CPUs, if you do not have one, do not adjust that setting. This is only for the people who have multi-core multi CPUs. If you're not sure, just go to the cleartickinfo.com website and you could just post your info on your CPU and I'll tell you if it's multi-core or not. Close that and right click properties and make sure you check read only. Click apply. Okay. If you ever want to edit it, just make sure you right click it, properties, and uncheck read only. Here's one more setting or one more thing you could do. 
to make it run a little bit faster, you could combine all three methods. Go to google.com, type in game booster. Go to this site right here. This is a free program which will help with the performance of any game. In this tutorial, I'll just apply it to Call of Duty Black Ops. So you just download here and go through the settings. It's a pretty simple program. It'll help free up CPU power to apply to the game so it'll make it run a little bit faster. If you have any questions on this tutorial or improving the performance of Call of Duty Black Ops on your computer, just visit us at cleartechinfo.com. And note that for every video or tutorial posted on cleartechinfo.com by us, cleartechinfo, just go to the bottom link right here. If you click that, you'll immediately get sent to the full article or tutorial that's associated with that video on YouTube and you can get more info on it. Also, if you have a question to ask or a comment, just click here and you can get the question answered directly on our site. Everything's free. We respond a lot faster if you post at cleartechinfo.com compared to YouTube. For more tutorials, tips, tricks, and advice on computers, internet, and technology, go to cleartechinfo.com.